Hello, this is Eric of NotBios Tech and Reviews, and this is my quick review slash overview of the Be Quiet Lightwing's 140 millimeter cooling fans. We're gonna find out what problem you could have. My experience, in fact, I have them installed. This is just a second full box that I've only opened the tab. Now let's see what's inside, but first, let's get started. We're gonna check out the fan noise at 500 RPM, 1000 RPM, and at full speed, just to get an idea of how this sounds. We have many different boxes, including our three fans. The other box was the controller hub for the RGB. We have six different connections to your serial ATA power port on your power supply to give it extra power. So we connect this little small end two right here on our adapter of course it doesn't tell you bluntly which way around it goes but here it is and we can see this is the pin layout for the rgb if you have a different pin layout don't expect it to simply connect to your motherboard there are different type rgbs and the hub is all those three pin connections on both sides now let's check out the fans and here is the front and here is the back with only a tiny RGB slit that you see right now. And in terms of cable that's laid out, these are quite long. So let me untwist tie these. That is hugely long. Via the magic of having a measuring tape, this connector that is your power for the fan itself is, and this is, PMW, four pin by the way, is 19 inches or 48 centimeters. That is really long. The RGB cable itself is a little over 19 inches or about 49 centimeters, which again is, as you see, really long. And of course the extension gives you another couple of inches, another four and a half inches or about 11 centimeters. Another adapter so if you need to expand this and you only have the fans without the hub so you'll connect this one to your motherboard and then you may have another fan you want to connect rgb to without the hub and you can extend it out that's the point of this in my particular case with a hub having those pins strictly not needed if i'm not using the hub which problem did i face the problem i faced is this 3m it does stick <laughs> it does stick right to the device really nicely this plastic however a lot of cases have little micro textures and this thing kept on falling off of my case consistently i could not leave it connected but let's get past that for now but just keep that in mind so right now we can see a nice close-up of the rgb without the fan turning and let's see the back side and here's our back side very very slender rgb lines I'm using the MSI Mystic Light software. This is called Flame. We were on Rainbow. So when it comes to RGB settings, it's all a matter of your software. So right now I have it set to stacking. It's really not doing much at all, but let's set to something else. Originally we saw Rainbow. So your motherboard software or your motherboard controller software is gonna make the difference for this, but uh, that gives you an idea of how this looks. Now let's get our fan connected, including a microphone to record our fan noise. Right now I'm speaking about one foot away from the microphone and this fan is also about one foot away from the microphone. Let's hear the silence to see how quiet this is at 500 RPM. This is basically absolute silence at 500 RPM. Let's turn this up to 1000 RPM and hear the sound. You're now listening to this fan at 1000 RPM, still really, really silent for that speed of fan. So fantastic results, let's listen to the silence. Now let's turn the fan up to full speed and hear how it sounds. We are now at an estimated 1,566 RPM fluctuating 
up to about 1,576 RPM. Considering this is full speed, the results definitely aren't bad. So one problem I've been having is this thing keeps on coming off of the case. We removed our 3M tape, so it's this black sticky thing. And of course not sticking as good anymore because it got dust on it, but uh, yeah. I normally just stick it on my case, the smooth part, as you can see mostly on the smooth part. Give it a press for a few seconds. It feels like it's gonna stick. Right now it's just not sticking anymore, but yeah, it feels like it's gonna stick, but it just keeps on falling down. So I maybe I'd have to use heavy duty adhesive on like say the case and on the sticker part, like the gluey part, and maybe it would stay then. But this is a situation I've been having. And now the texture of the case is pretty darn smooth, but there's a slight texture. If you don't have any brush metal and it's completely smooth without a light texture to it, you'll probably have better luck. Or maybe your case is plastic that you're sticking to rather than metal. So yeah, that's my complaint uh, about this. And there it goes again. So let's connect the next fan and then we'll connect this one right here. Now we got both these connected. Now let's connect this one. I don't need the fan running to get the RGB going. So I'm gonna connect these female pins to these male pins right here. That's a third light. Now we have to connect our case RGB. And let's see if I can find that connector right here. So I take off that cap. So I expose these male pins. Now I have all my RGB running in my case with one single, well, for all these, having a splitter, it makes it so I can run all my RGB, no hub required. So if you're having problems with your hub, we can eliminate it like so. Do you need this hub? Probably not. For the most part, you will probably be better off without having the extra little RGB cable connected here, all the RGBs connected here, plus the serial ATA connection. So if you don't need that, just get rid of it. Overall, these fans have a very decent amount of airflow. You can see the blades are really close to the edge, helping for silence and being not slender gives more air pressure. So you can use this with a radiator, rated for 60,000 60, hours. But if you get, say, one of the higher models, like this one, it's rated for 300,000 hours. So we do have more lifespan in this type of fan. And these are made for radiators to give you as much air pressure as possible. These are 120 millimeters in size, but you can see there's lots of fins. Sadly, I can't measure air pressure yet until I get a tool. Suggest in the description below which tool works well and which one I should get for testing air pressure in the future. This is Eric of Not Bios Tech Reviews. Please consider subscribing to this channel, help this channel grow, and give me a reason to spend more money on equipment to help you. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.